Hi, right, this, this is Ed. Uh, I guess this would be the second vlog for junk removal. Uh, the title of today's video log is Don't Touch Another Man's Junk. <laughs> Never touch another man's junk. I'd say the first month I, I started trying this out, because that's exactly what I was doing, is just trying this whole thing out. I uh, was asked to remove some garbage from a bin that a customer had obviously overfilled and had just left it and didn't call the company that was paid to dispose of the garbage. Um, and when he did call them, I suspect, uh, they told him, take that crap out, load in a reasonable amount of garbage in there, and we'll come and empty them for you. Until you do that, we're not taking it. And I kind of understand why, because when I got there, the customer had a whole bunch of requests. And, and, and this is not a customer I wanted to have at all, at all. He, it was really clear that he wanted to negotiate everything. Uh, my set prices weren't actually set. They were negotiable to him. Uh, that's not someone you want to waste your time on. You, Okay, I get it. Initially, you got to make some money. You've got to take on some jobs that'll pay the bills. I get it. But when you when you have a customer who's trying to micromanage what you're trying to do, it's really not worth it. Um, anyway, so this customer, I'll tell you another part about that this same customer a little later but so I I go to I pull up to the back of this this restaurant and uh, I flip open the bins uh, and it was it wasn't just awful it was almost make you throw up immediately upon lifting the lid of this thing it was so awful in fact I suspect that this guy left that stuff in there for probably months. And it was all like rotting meat, fruit, vegetables, and stuff that the restaurant was throwing out. He just threw it in garbage bags and just left it in there. I mean, it was rank like, I've cleaned up piss and shit before and pet and cat and all that kind of crap. I've picked up that stuff before and I've cleaned up that kind of stuff before. This was, I had, a lot of difficulties not throwing up and for me that that it's a really really big deal because I've got a really really strong stomach so if I'm getting close to throwing up just by lifting the lid you can imagine how bad it was emptying three of these 120 pound garbage bins filled with garbage bags that have been in there for months I mean you know you just you just just picture bottomless maggots and a stench of death and decay that you only get from spending months of leaving garbage in a hot bin under the sun like all summer kind of like putrid putrid rank so anyway I do the job um, not because I actually well I did need the money but Honestly, I just didn't know any better. I mean, I kind of realized I probably shouldn't do this. And, and I kind of, I, I actually talked to a friend who, who uh, works at this particular company that, that puts these bins back here. And he had said that, uh, yeah, that's what you would normally do is if you were running that business, you would call a customer and say, the bins are full, I need you to empty them then when they empty them they bill you so what I think this company did was when he overfilled these bins they just said look we're billing you regardless you just can't expect us to empty those or we're not going to empty them so we're going to bill you in a way regardless of whether you empty them for the monthly you know the monthly whatever uh, they pay a monthly fee to have the bins picked up serviced and dumped whatever so you know, I emptied these putrid things, and I gotta say, I mean, 
I really do have a strong stomach, but this was entirely on a new level. Like when you're driving your vehicle down the road and you're almost throwing up just because the wind wafts past your truck at a stop sign. Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Really evil. So, I had later learned that um, you, you could be sued by the other company, and that, and that makes perfect sense. I mean, you know, I, I, I was, you know, praying spanking new. I mean, how am I supposed to know? I mean, I thought I was doing this guy a favor, right? You know, I, I should have realized that, you know, there's, there's a bin there, so somebody's got to be emptying those bins specifically. So... Okay, so, anyway, the point of the video is never touch an unbanned junk. If you're asked to remove garbage from a bin that another company has placed there, don't do it. Just turn around and walk away. Say, no, I'm not doing that. You wouldn't want someone going into your truck, taking out all the copper, because, well, you were going to the recycling anyway. I mean... It's not quite the same, but it's sort of like the same, you know? So, what am I doing now? Um, oh, to get back to that point. Don't do that. Customer asks you to empty a bin that he pays another company to do, or empty. Don't do that. It's. I regret doing it, and I actually walked away on the customer because... He had showed me another room that was entirely floor to ceiling uh, from the back of the room right to the door jam-packed full of recycling that he was just too cheap to pay the same company to come and clear and I had just I flat out said no I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that for you I'm just I'm not doing it he says well well you know I, I need you to give me a price on that and I said well I'm not doing it I'd say this week's lesson, another a really, really important tip, um, aside from this, it, it's actually just a common sense one, is you got to have some place to be able to start storing little nuggets of gold that you get every now and then from each job. If you don't, you're going to miss out on potential value. Hi. Are you paying cash? No, credit. Okay. And the address? 125 Van Order. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. So, you know, I mean, if you don't have any place to store it, like I, I, I live in an apartment, but I rent a storage unit and I put anything I find of value in there, and every two or three months I'll empty it out and uh, sell everything off. So if you're looking to make a little bit of money off junk removal, tip of the day is never touch another man's junk. Make absolutely sure that you've got somewhere to store little items that you find of value. Because if you don't, you're just gonna be throwing away money. So, I hope those two tips, I guess, yeah, there was only two, tip, two tips this week. Well, I'm at the dump, or I'm just uh, loading up here. Hope you have a good day. Hope you uh, found those two tips helpful. Bye-bye.
much will it cost? $27.95. Chelsea. $27.95. <laughs> there's minimum charge, so yeah, unfortunately, I really hate the fact that there's a minimum charge. Like, I know some loads are like eight, nine, ten dollars, but you know, they gotta make a living, right? I guess. Anyway. So, I appreciate you watching. Video log number two, never touch another man's junk. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day.